stray radio signals keep pinging the array. Gonna try to filter it out. Control systems all reporting back now. Paladin, I'm pleased you've returned. Captain Kells and I wanted to speak with you. Captain Kells, as I expect Elder Maxon has already explained, the destruction of the Institute is simply the first stage of our operations in the Commonwealth. There are still super mutants and ferals to be dealt with, as well as any remaining synths that escaped the blast. It's our hope that you will continue serving with the Brotherhood and assist us with eradicating these threats. Well, I'm not gonna quit now. Indeed. I expected no less from you, Paladin. In light of your service, Captain Kells and I both feel you deserve unique recognition for your contributions. Both past... and future. It's with great pleasure and the utmost respect that you are hereby granted the title of Sentinel. This is the highest honor a Brotherhood soldier can achieve. But we both felt strongly that it was well deserved. In addition, we'd like to present you with this jetpack modification for your power armor. The Brotherhood has few of these devices in its possession, but we feel you've earned the right to utilize one of them. Congratulations, Sentinel. It's an honor to be serving with you. Thank you, both. I'm really quite honored. The honor is ours. So, Sentinel, for the first time since we've met, I have no orders for you. From this moment forward, you will decide which missions you undertake, and how you will guide us. Captain Kells and the personnel at the Cambridge Police Station still possess numerous operations for you to undertake. Where you go from here is up to you. Ad Victorium, Sentinel. Elder Maxon? What is it, Sentinel? What are my responsibilities as a Sentinel? I need you to set an example for the troops. Collect technology, exterminate abominations of nature, and bring a message of stability to the people of the Commonwealth. Our ideals are what define us, Sentinel. If we can hold on to that, then we will always be victorious. Was there anything else you need to ask? How can I continue helping the Brotherhood of Steel? Speak to the crew. I'm certain that they have plenty of missions available. If you're willing to pick up the assignments, is there anything else? Not right now, Elder. Very well. Then I suggest you return to your duties. Getting a bit of twitch on Prop 3. Adjusting torque. We're getting a 3% Z. A moment, Sentinel. We have squires in need of training. They're young recruits. They need a good example to follow. Someone to emulate. I realize the mission is simple on the surface, but you'd be helping to secure the Brotherhood's future. I'm happy to help out. Good. One of the squires is waiting for you. We've given her a location. Escort her there and show her how the Brotherhood deals with abominations. Brothers and sisters, I will make this brief. I wish only to say thank you for all your hard work and dedication in defeat of the Institute. Our sacrifices have been great, but thanks to all of you, we stand today in a commonwealth free from the grip of madmen. We may have liberated Tomorrow the always brings but another battle. Far from over. But thanks to I all know of I'm you, not the first to say we this, have won today. And I appreciate At Victorium, did. brothers and sisters. The Institute got exactly what it deserved. If we won, 
Why do you still sound so upset? I guess I'm just thinking about all the lives that were lost getting to this point. There was this one pilot in particular. Rico was his name. I've been on this ship long enough that I watched him go from a Greenhorn Wastelander to a Lancer. Every day, after his duty shift, he'd come back here and we'd talk about... Well, everything. Sometimes for hours. I remember the day Kells put him in command of a vertibird. He ran right down here to me and handed me a bottle of whiskey. I told him to keep it, but he insisted. He said I was his friend. Felt he owed it to me for keeping him sane all those years. Go on. Right before you got back to the Predwin, Kells told me he was shot down. Some punk with a rocket launcher got lucky and blew him from the sky. I don't know why I'm telling you all of this. It's not really any of your concern. I guess I just wanted to show you that there's two sides to every victory. Those who live to revel in it, and those who die making it happen. Well, I think I've raked you through the mud for long enough. Here. I want to give you this as a token of my gratitude for everything you've done. I hope the gesture means the same to you as it did to me. You've done a heck of a job, Sentinel. Ad Victorium. Tegan. Well, if it isn't our very own Sentinel, I got some special gear set aside for you. Let me know if you'd like to take a look. Have anything unusual? I have some special mods I've been working on. Sort of a hobby I have to pass the time. Real high-powered stuff. Slap a few of them onto your weapons, and I am pretty sure they'll put a smile on your face. Let's hear a bit more about that extra work you mentioned. Hard to resist the lure of extra caps. The food stores don't replenish themselves, so I need legs on the ground to hit up farms in the area. We'll be requisitioning a portion of their harvest, and I need that food crated and ready to go for when I send out a collection team. Your mission will be to ensure full cooperation of the civilian farmers. By any means necessary. Any means necessary? You're giving me carte blanche on this. You said it. Like they say, if you aren't with us, you're against us. Think you can handle that? I'm in. Knew I could count on you. Here's the farm. I have no doubt you'll convince those simple little civilians. Proctor. I realize it's not the most glamorous of missions, but hell, neither is starving. I'm looking for some firepower. Got some choice weapons that just came in. I saw the Institute explode from up here. Great work, sir. It's remarkable the things you can do with only two hands. I hope I live long enough to witness the Brotherhood's next triumph. You've done a heck of a job, Sentinel. Ad Victorium. We 
may have liberated the Commonwealth, but our job is far from over. May the Institute's fall be a lesson to anyone who'd risk tampering with our humanity. I'm glad I don't have to spend my whole life underground. That would be boring. Hey, Sean. Dad, I was so worried. I thought I'd never see you again. Is it true? Did you really blow up the Institute? Why would you do that? They were dangerous, Sean. To everyone in the Commonwealth. Yeah, that's what the Proctor lady told me. As long as you don't leave me, it'll be okay. You're... You're not gonna leave me, right? Don't worry, kiddo. I'm here for you. Okay. Oh, before I forget, Father, uh, he told me to give this to you. I didn't listen to it, so I don't know what it says, but I think it's important. Sean, do you want to get out of here? Go live somewhere else with me? Oh. Okay, well, maybe some other time. If you are hearing this, then whatever conflicts you and I have endured are over. Taking on I have no reason to believe that you'll honor the request I'm about to make. And I feel compelled to try anyway. This synth, this boy, he deserves more. He has been reprogrammed to believe he is your son. It is my hope that you will take him with you. I would only ask that you give him a chance. A chance to be part of whatever future awaits the Commonwealth. Reporting for duty, sir. Stay close, kid. You'll do fine. Thank you, sir. Here's the location, sir.
graduate tonight and get to take on missions like this on my own. Other squires are going to be so jealous when I get back. this enthusiastic yes sir you're my hero sir you handled yourself well you honor the brotherhood let's head back thank you sir I wish they'd let me have a gun. Proctor Teagan just laughed at me.
you've done a heck of a job. Report. I hope the Squire performed as expected. Roger that. Well done. Remember, I don't choose instructors easily. If you have the time, I'd appreciate your continued assistance in guiding them. I'm not sure. You have what it takes, believe me. Until you do, I'll be waiting. System Delta's at 100%. Secondary Delta standing by. Station keeping maintained. Attention all personnel. Research patrols are a crucial facet of our operation here in the Commonwealth. Any Brotherhood soldiers that have not received a research patrol assignment should speak to Proctor Quinlan immediately. I saw the Institute explode from up here. Great work, sir. Excuse me. May the Institute's fall be a lesson to anyone who'd risk tampering with our humanity. Why do I get the impression I don't want to hear what you have to say? The Brotherhood needs your help to protect the Commonwealth. Donate a portion of your crops to the Brotherhood, and it will not be forgotten. Donate? <laughs> Haven't heard that one before. 
But raiders usually aren't that polite. Don't think I don't see what's going on here. You'll get your donation come harvest. Attention, Halbert Pilot to Station Epsilon. Halbert Pilot, report to Station Epsilon. That is all. Look who's back. I take it everything went without a hitch? Yes, sir. The crops will be available when harvested. Good work. I knew counting on you was the right thing. Here are those caps I promised you. Let me know when you feel like paying another farm a visit. Those farmers don't know how good they have it. They aren't risking their lives for the greater good. Maybe later? Fine by me. You've done a heck of a job, Sentinel. Ad Victorium. Dr. Lee. Well, it appears you got what you wanted. The Institute's destroyed, and everyone up here thinks you're a hero. I never asked to be called a hero. I was just doing what I thought was right. Well, maybe you should take a step back for a moment and analyze what you just did. The fact of the matter is that innocent people died because Elder Maxon had delusions of grandeur. He kept preaching that the Institute was playing God for creating the synths. Well, you know what? Maybe he should take a look in the mirror, because he's the only one that I saw that's been playing God. Don't you think they needed to answer for their crimes oh god now you're starting to sound like maxon he really got under your skin didn't he you know i actually convinced myself that you were using liberty prime as leverage that you were hoping for the institute to surrender this is the second time i've let the brotherhood betray me and i don't intend for there to be a third i've already told proctor ingram that i'm through working on liberty prime i'm going to work on my own projects in peace so from now on i suggest we stay out of each other's way Ad Victorium, Sentinel. So, any other tricks up your sleeve besides making the Institute disappear? No, but I'm glad you approve. Approve? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's an understatement. You almost single-handedly finished everything that the Brotherhood came here to do. Even to a curmudgeon like me, that's pretty impressive. Anyway, I'm not here to talk your ear off. Maxon's informed me that you're continuing your tour aboard the Pridwin. So I was hoping you could assist me with a long-term problem. Keeping the Pridwin hovering like this is putting a tremendous strain on the ship's propulsion systems. 
I can stay ahead of the repairs, and we have plenty of fuel to keep the fusion reaction sustained, but we're short on reactor coolant. You don't have enough on board? Hey, I didn't expect to keep this floating pile of steel aloft this long. And the coolant isn't exactly easy to find. So instead of second-guessing my maintenance methods, maybe you should lend us a hand. I'll be on the lookout. Don't worry. Well, you can look all you want. You're not gonna find cans of the stuff laying around the Commonwealth. Here, take this list. It details exactly what you need to make a can of this special coolant. Find the materials, whip some of it up at any of the chemistry stations on the ship, and bring them to me. Pretty simple. If the coolant's good, then I'll even pay you for it, as per our retrieval compensation policy. Anyway, I guess that's it for now. Good luck. Ingram? I hope you made some reactor coolant. We're still running low. Can you remind me how to make the reactor coolant? It really isn't that difficult. Take the ingredients from that list I provided, bring them to any chemistry station, and mix them together. It takes a little bit of work, but I know you don't mind getting your hands dirty. I need help finding some of the ingredients. If I had all the ingredients, I'd just make the reactor coolant myself. Check our supply depot at the airport, or see what Proctor Teagan has for sale. I'm betting you can find most of it locally. No. Sorry. Well, keep your eyes open. We really need that coolant. Thanks again for helping us out, Sentinel. The entire mate. I saw the Institute explode from up here. Great work, sir. I hope I live long enough to witness the Brotherhood's next triumph. We may have liberated the Commonwealth, but our job is far from over. Warning. Voice interface shutting down. Please return later. That's quite the crater you've manifested in the center of Boston. Marvelous work. Simply marvelous. You aren't disappointed that all the Institute's technical research just went up in smoke? On the contrary. It's always been my sincerest hope that the Institute's ill-conceived research would never see the light of day. And, thanks to your efforts, it appears that my hopes have become reality. I'm glad you're impressed. There's no need to be modest. You deserve all the accolades you've been receiving, and more. Your actions have proven to the people of the Commonwealth that the Brotherhood of Steel has their best interests in mind. That's quite an accomplishment for someone who was merely a new recruit only a short time ago. Well, I've already taken up more than enough of your valuable time. If you still wish to procure technical documents or escort one of my scribes, please let me know. Quinlan? I hear congratulations are in order, Sentinel. Now, did you have any documentation for me? Or perhaps you'd be willing to lead a research patrol? Neither. Not right now. That's unfortunate. Feeling any after effects from the Institute explosion? I wish I knew my mom. She died when I was just a baby, right? That, that makes me sad.
May the Institute's Magic fall be a lesson to anyone who risked tampering with our humanity. If they weren't on the ship. Your concerns are noted, Scribe. Give Proctor Ingram my thanks for letting me borrow you. Feel free to have a look at the specimens, but please don't touch anything. I refuse to be held responsible if you're injured. Quite a collection you've got here. Well, thank you. Most people don't appreciate the important work that I'm trying to do here. I'm on the cusp of discovering how these creatures' bodies have adapted to the radiation that's infiltrated their habitats. If I can crack the code, I can equip our troops with a protective compound far superior to Rad-X. That's amazing. Well, it's only a theory so far. You see, the ionizing radiation left behind by the Great War kills because it damages most living things on a cellular level. However, after several generations, these creatures' bodies have adapted by altering their genetic makeup to prevent cellular disruption. I believe I've discovered how I can replicate that genetic restructuring rapidly. Instead of decades, I can do it in moments. For a short period of time, anyway. I'm sold. If you're looking for someone to help, you can sign me up. I appreciate the offer, but unfortunately, I've hit a stumbling block. The specimens I've already captured can only produce so much blood and genetic material. If I try and harvest too much, they'll die. What I need are more samples of blood from the creatures roaming the Commonwealth. No problem. I'd be glad to help. I appreciate your confidence in my abilities, brother. I've modified your Pip-Boy to scan the corpse of any freshly killed creature that has the proper type of blood in its body. All you have to do is pick up any viable sample and bring it back to me. Hey, I really appreciate you doing this for me. It's nice to know I'm not the only person in the Brotherhood with an open mind. Squire. I don't see what the big deal is about dying. It's a lot like sleeping. You just don't wake up. Attention. Any soldiers who have not yet received a field assignment from Proctor Teagan should speak to him at once. That is all.
careful. You can be fine if you need to, yes? With that locket back, our Mary can truly rest in peace. Yes? Huh? Yeah. There we go. The dead should be handled more carefully than this. Blake, I want you to listen to me as a brother here. This whole deal with Eddie is wicked shysty. I mean, what kind of business partner threatens to kill you if the deal doesn't go his way? We are in way over our heads, man. I can't see a way out of this. No way except shutting down and getting out of Dodge. Give me a chance to talk this out with you face to face. I just want both of us to get out of this.
about the things you can do with only two hands. Yes? Yeah? 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 Attention, Bravo 64, report to Armor Bay 2. Bravo 64 to Armor Bay 2. We may have liberated the Commonwealth, but our job is far from over. The Institute is gone. There's nothing more to talk about. Ingram? I could still use that reactor coolant. Do you have any? Yep. Here you go. I'll treat this like gold. Don't worry. Here you go. This should cover your acquisition costs. Thanks again for helping us out, Sentinel. The entire maintenance crew appreciates what you're doing. that by destroying the Institute, you provided me with a host of new opportunities? I can't wait to get to work. What 
do you mean? Well, it's quite simple, really. The detonation of the Institute's reactor undoubtedly had a significant impact on the Commonwealth's ecosystem. There hasn't been an atomic explosion of this magnitude in quite a long time. Certainly none that I've been close enough to study. The prospect of watching what this immense concentration of radiation does to the local flora and fauna is nothing short of exciting. You've done a great service in the name of science. In any event, I'm certain you need to get back to your duties and I need to get back to my data. Thanks again for providing me with such a wonderful opportunity. Be careful out there, sir. Have you collected any blood samples, Sentinel? Yes, here you go. I never thought I'd be so happy to see tiny vials of blood. Thank you. Here's some caps for the trouble. I really appreciate you searching for the blood samples. As soon as I make a breakthrough, I'll let you know. <laughs> 